Hey what's up guys, that's Kazoo here and welcome to episode 18 of Skill into Glory and uh, in the previous episode we started off our journey in Division 4 unfortunately though we didn't already start off that great because we won the first game which was decent but then straight afterwards we lost two games in a row so uh, hopefully that will go a lot better in this episode we start things off going what will be the first game we come up against a decent looking Premier League side in the 4-2-3-1 formation and uh, my opponent started off straight away getting a lot of chance here here what Mares hits the post after like 13 minutes then a few minutes later he gets himself another chance here I think with Theo Walcott hits the post there as well probably could have scored from the rebound but uh, we cleared it away so a hectic few minutes for uh, for us uh, then uh, just before half time we did get ourselves our first chance as well and guess what we hit the post too so it was just all about the post basically in the first half on both sides then 45th minute we gave away a penalty which I personally couldn't do much about I tried to bring up my goalkeeper which worked out and then uh, he fouled him. We got lucky though that he didn't get sent off. But unfortunately he did uh, convert the penalty into a goal just before half time with Theo Walcott to make it 1-0. And if I'm honest, it was uh, deserved. Because this guy was just way better than me in this entire game. He played much better. Made it 2-0 as well in the second half. And um, yeah, it kind of frustrated me that he was playing better. He made it 3-0 uh, here as well. At least that's what I thought. But again, Diego Alves fouled him uh, even though uh, he already had a yellow we didn't get a second yellow which was uh, good for us but he still made it 3-0 again from a penalty with Theo Walcott and that's how the game ended completely de destroyed me in this game and um, yeah couldn't really do much so again not the greatest start to this episode we continue on uh, losing another game which was really annoying so um, here we move on it will be the second game of the episode and we come up against a really strong and nice looking side 5-2-1-2 formation, two strikes up front from United in uh, Memphis Depay and Martial. And he also had a legend in Rio Ferdinand. And uh, this guy started off with the first chance and the first goal already as well with Martial. One which was kind of annoying because I tried to clear it away, completely messed up. Then a few minutes later, 25th minute, I don't know what Rudiger did there, but for some reason he just did a really weird looking roulette or something. We lose the ball, again I got very frustrated and um, I thought I was able to give away a free kick, ended up being a penalty, which he converted as well with Depay making it 2-0. So um, also this game started off terribly for us. Then a couple of minutes later, again I don't know like how he got through, but for some reason he got through there with uh, Memphis Depay, a really weird touch as well, made it 3-0 in the first half and it was again just looking so so bad for us on a stroke of half time as well we uh, we picked up a red card with uh, with our defender and um, yeah I knew it was just game over already from a free kick he did make it 4-0 as well from a freaking rebound and um, yeah I knew it was going to be tough also in the second half a few minutes in we give away another penalty out of frustration I guess which he converted makes it 5-0 with uh, Depay and um, yeah, towards the end in the second half, we did create a couple of chances too. Uh, we even got a goal here with uh, Asamoah. Nice uh, shot there into the top corner. Uh, doing something bad, but was obviously not enough to uh, get completely back into the game. Then 90th minute, another chance you can see as well. He was doing a lot of slide tackles, which he did the entire game. Which kind of made my skill runs look really, really bad. Because I did get more chance in this game, but I just can't be asked to show them to you guys. Just want to show you the goals and move on to the next game because like... It was just uh, another really annoying game to uh, to play and also to commentate. But anyway, moving in uh, what will be the third game of the episode. Uh, really, really want to uh, to win this game because the, the, the past two games, they've just been really, really bad basically for myself. So um, yeah, again, a Premier League team. This one actually having uh, Alex Hunter. I think for me the first time or the second time playing against Hunter. Obviously not the greatest player in Ultimate Team, but um, it is uh, fun to come up against a player like him in the game. But anyway, uh, we got the first chance here in the game. A good save there from his goalkeeper, Butler, who is just insanely OP, by the way. A lot of people have been saying this and actually noticed it as well. Uh, 27th minute, uh, he did get himself a goal here with Gray, which I felt my defender just should have outjumped him. He did get the header and uh, scored from it, which was uh, annoying. That uh, 38th minute, we give away another penalty, and I was like... Are you actually serious? Like, I was just about to quit FIFA already because just playing those games in a row and just playing terribly as well is just the, the type of FIFA day you just don't want to have. And I think everyone has it. But uh, you notice as well, he actually ended up missing that penalty. So there was still a bit of hope for us in this game to completely get back. In the second half, Bardon Niang, who actually did get himself a goal here after some great skill moves from uh, Kovacic. Unfortunately, didn't get the goal from that straight away. But a uh, nice goal from uh, Niang to give her something back. 
Then 83rd minute, we cross it in here with uh, Costa. We did get a bicycle kick in with Paras at right back, which he didn't really hit that properly, unfortunately, because otherwise it definitely would have gone in. Then uh, 85th minute, again, Neyang here on the ball, plays it on through here to Ben Yedder. We uh, do a bit of LTRT dribbling, play it on back straight away to Neyang, who goes 1 1 with the goalkeeper. And we smash it into the back of net. A great goal there to actually uh, give ourselves the win towards the end. And uh, Neyang uh, definitely being the super sub in, uh, in this game. Uh, showing uh, how good he actually is. And uh, might actually use him in a future squad or something as a, uh, as a starting player basically. Because right now we've only been using him as a substitute. But anyway, uh, I want to play another game, but then noticed uh, some stupid injuries, so uh, I decided to switch to the other side. And now uh, we go, will be the final game of the episode. Come up against the Premier League team once again in the 4 3 1 2 formation with Inform Arnautovic as a striker. And uh, we started things off here in the 38th minute with Asamoah getting a weak foot shot in which the goalkeeper saves again, Butland. But then from the rebound to this Quadrado with a nice scissor kick, uh, shooting it into the back of the net, making it 1 0. Then moving already into the second half, he has Darmian there on the ball, cross it in to Arnautovic, who managed to win the header from Perez, and uh, he made the equalizer. 1-1 it was. A few minutes later, another attack here from us. Uh, the goalkeeper kind of cleared away. A bit of a panic attack there from my opponent, because the clearance was really bad. We managed to set some pressure, a lot of uh, weird stuff going on here, and then, seriously, one of the most ace goals I've scored so far in FIFA 17. We made it 2-1, and the weird thing is, this shot here, or attempt from Perotti, I think, Actually was a shot, I pressed B, but it ended up being a pass. And from that we uh, do make it 2-1. So uh, we take the lead back into the game. The 70th minute, we move on here with Muriel. Uh, we uh, outpace this defender there. Then uh, we beat another one here, play it on through to uh, Quadrado. And we score a really, really like weird goal as well. Through the goalkeeper's legs. His goalkeeper, Butland, definitely uh, let him down in that game. Then uh, 90th minute, he gets himself another goal here, another header as well. This time with uh, Jesse Rodriguez who makes it 3-2, but unfortunately for him it ended up being not enough, and uh, we ended up winning that game. So I uh, picked up another 3 points in this episode, and uh, you can see as well from uh, from the points we have right now. We currently have 9, we have 3 more games left, and we have to uh, have 16 points in order to promote to the next division. So it's going to be very tough in the next episode, but hopefully we can, uh, we can pull it off after we won two games in a row now in this episode. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.